Good morning. Well, let's get straight into the word. We're at Psalm 130. Let me read it for us. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I do hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. Yes, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. So this little psalm, yeah, one of the songs of ascent, this is talking to us uh, about how strongly this person desires to be delivered, to be forgiven for his sins. How strongly it's desired. And yet today we don't hear very much about sin. Sin isn't a word that we, we uh, hardly fits in our world where there's, things seem to be so supposedly so relative, uh, all, all things relative to each other. But no, in the kingdom of God, it's very clear. Righteousness is a very clear value. Sin is a very clear opposite, an anti-value. And so sin, well, God's plan is to get rid of it. So here we have this crying out of the depths, and perhaps you ex have experienced this. Perhaps you yourself have said, oh, you've pled with God, please remove my sins, please forgive me. And this is a psalm that speaks of how much, uh, how, how deep and dark and bad sin is, O Lord. Verse 2, if you, Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But with him is forgiveness. In fact, verse 4 is quite interesting. But it, there is forgiveness with you. And then what did it say? That you may be feared. Well, how many people connect those two ideas? That the ability to forgive is connected, is connected with uh, being respected and to be respected. When you forgive somebody, you should be feared. Not afraid, but it should be an amazing thing to people. It should be something very precious something that would cause us to regard another person very highly, someone who truly forgives. And then we have the waiting for the morning. I remember um, uh, times I worked in the graveyard shift, actually a variety of times in my life, uh, and always looking forward to morning. Sometimes being outside uh, and waiting for the sun to come up gets cold. You're looking forward to that time. And then, of course, we end with, O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. That's a very good feature about the Christian God, the God of the Bible. God is a God of mercy. He shall redeem Israel, verse 8, from all his iniquities. And it's God's pleasure. Luke twelve thirty two says it's his good pleasure to give us the kingdom. And so he's very ready to forgive. The question really comes down, though, are we really of such strong desire do we really care about being forgiven for our sins? Is sin a light matter to us? Or is sin deep and dark and red and hopeless and needs to be taken away by the Lord Jesus? I, I hope it's that second one for you. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for being a God who delivers from sin. Oh, please, Lord, Give us a stronger sense of how awful sin is and a stronger appreciation for, for waiting and longing for your deliverance. Deliver us, Lord. Forgive our sins. Thank you that with you there is mercy for your people. In Jesus' name we give praise and thanks to you. Amen. Start this day all forgiven for your sins. And see what kind of a day it will be. God be with you.